Hello. J and J Tasters here. I'm Jesse. Jessa. Jessa. So we got us some beer we're going we're gonna test and uh give you a little info on. So we got this beer from an app called Tavor. Tavor. T-A-V-O-U-R. Alright. So a bunch of beer that we've never even really heard of or tasted before. So we're gonna do this for you right here and give you a little info about it. So uh you wanna... got a crate of like forty two beers and shipping for forty two beers was only fifteen bucks. You can't beat that. Mm. So we'll leave you a link uh, in the description where you can get ten bucks off your membership to uh Tavor. Mm. And um but there's these descriptions about the beer that really sell it. Like it will make you want this beer immediately and you'll want to buy everything. Okay. So So where is this one from? Uh, okay, well, first of all, this is a uh, smooth, greater good Imperial Brewing Company. Yes. Okay. And it is uh, from, where is this from? This remarkable beverage is brewed and canned in Worcester, Massachusetts. Okay. New England style, Worcester, Massachusetts. So the cool thing about this app is they give you a description of the beer, which I already mentioned. And so I'll read you like parts of it and um, we'll leave it for you to decide if it's something you'd buy. Mm -hmm. And you can watch Jesse's uh, reactions as he's trying his favorite beer in the whole wide world. Yeah, because I so IPA. love IPAs. <laughs> so. You love that pine tree. Yeah. I'm going to give this one a shot. All right, go ahead and give him a description okay. and I'll, I'll take a sip or two. Okay, what do we got here? Okay. I rarely shut up about beer. Oh, don't show me. Show you. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to be in the spotlight? Okay. I can't help I'm it. I'm a craft me. nerd. Although one velvety sip of Greater Goods DDH Smooth has my inner chatty Kathy calling for an intermission. Seriously, I had to finish the can before opening my laptop to put its double dry hop deliciousness into words. It's satisfyingly smooth, poor, and dazzling. Sunset hue will mesmerize hazy enthusiasts from the get-go. Brewed with heaps of citra and mosaic hops. Heaps. Heaps. Okay. DTH smooth bursts with notes of tangy pineapple, mango, and pithy grapefruit. Pithy. Followed by an ever- Definitely a lot of grapefruit in this. <laughs> Followed by an ever so delectable splash of pine resin okay who doesn't want to drink a pine tree i'm drinking a pine tree i taste the apricot i really do yeah it's good i taste a lot of grapefruit but it's probably oh it's funny i taste apricot but there's no apricot in it it's pineapple oh my god. mango and grapefruit oh yeah. my god oh my god i taste apricot i think it's in the taste you of the just, holder. You just have apricot on your mind, or apricot, whatever the hell they I call it. I guess it's mango. <laughs> it tastes like apricot to me. I don't know. Mm. Let's okay. see. These Massachusetts brewmasters eat, sleep, and breathe imperial beer. In fact, they were the first independent brewery to focus on imperial brews exclusively. And this 8% ABV Behemoth. 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 Is as close to a session IPA as they get. Mm. Not to mention, craft fans on social media know that every release from Greater Goods sells out faster than a golden retriever sprinting to a drop piece of bacon. Bacon! <laughs> if your mind works a mile a minute like mine, take a well earned pause and get lost in the haze. This one's a doozy of deliciousness. Okay. Double dry hop with loads of citra and mosaic hops. Okay, hmm. so there you have it. Hmm. So one out of a five, what, one mm. to five. What would you rank it? Well, if you're uh, if you're big on uh, IPAs, I would definitely probably put it to a four. Three, yeah, three, four. You know, I'm not that strong of an IPA guy, so. You know, but I wanted to be fair and try it. It's actually not too bad. I'll probably give it a three or four. And that's coming from a guy who just... Doesn't like IPA. Not a big IPA fan. So what about you? I'd agree. I think that very light 
fruitiness to it is a very summery and refreshing IPA to drink. It's not heavy. Sometimes IPAs get a little difficult to, to drink if you, you know, want to go on a beer bender. Right. A so, beer bender. Beer bender. All right. <laughs> so I, I think I would rank this as a four for IPAs myself. Okay, good. So it's settled. Four. Cheers! Cheers!